Alright, now we go over here to the right. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the thread, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quarters to make. Dude, why are you being a jerk? Because <sighs> there's a lot of jerks around here, that's why. Some sort of yeah, what is it to you? What's it to you? Rather. What's it to you, lady? Nothing in the trash heap. Oh, there is! Oh, look at that! I almost missed that! Huh? Come on, let me get it. Thank you. Okay, I can't climb stuff, apparently. Okay, I gotta crouch to get back here. I'm hiding from people. This is where I want to be. Necklace, light ammo, heavy ammo, Mr. Ouch, whisper quiet muzzler. Dang! Some nice stuff. Duck. Get up. Okay, now I'm stuck back here. Oh, great. Okay, there we go. Hmm. You know what I haven't done in a while? Exactly. Probably should. <laughs> now that I'm coming up to the last part of this city. Have I spent three days in here? Whoop, I saw something. Was it open? Oh, it was open. Okay, then. There we go. Let me just explore this area first. Make sure I get every single corner. Like, to get stuff like that. That I'm not missing. Gotta be thorough, guys. Positively thorough. Now I'm entering the building. Where I needed to go. Wait, can I fit- can I squeeze back here? No. It's a little too tight. Vending machine? What the heck did I just pass? It's like a factory here. And it's another area where I could steal stuff that I don't want to. I mean, I want to, but I don't want to. I don't have time for this. Obviously. We gotta keep our heads up. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I got a lot to do. I bet you do. Uh huh. I bet you do. Oh god. What the heck? They killed the little guys again. What is the point of this? Why would you do that? Hard. Okay. Oh, there's a basement too? Oh. Bathroom. That's uh, helpful and it's very public bathroom. Very public bathroom. So there's a downstairs and an upstairs. 
This looks important. Vending machine? I don't even see one of those. Look at all that stuff. I can't take. Hi. Heavy ammo. Vending machine. Many machines offer a variety of items to purchase mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vendor. Machine, okay. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction or a high skill of 40 or higher. Huh. What you got? Hacked hammer. 73 and 102, it sucks. The heck? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Getting dinner ready as it's sort of gain light. Oh, okay. Well, I'm having too much fun. Can't deny me of that. Terminal. Uh, logs. Found one left hand, severed at the wrist, some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled com amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Oof. That was a short terminal to read. Okay, then. It's done, though. Is this openable? To the outside. Okay, let's go downstairs first. Then we'll go upstairs next, and then uh, we'll go do the quest. Oh, look at all that stuff. Sawed off shotgun for free. Come on, man. Hmm. like the maintenance room or something like that. Wait. Is that an explosive barrel? Why would they have that here? I don't think it is. I used a ladder. Ooh, another term terminal. Okay, that might be something I have to do in a future mission. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm just by goshing. Pick up power regulator. I found one. Oh snap, what's gonna happen when I do this? We're gonna save because if 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 all crap hits the fan, then I'm screwed, so what happened? Oh, it's hurting me. Oh, boy. Okay. That's probably where I gotta get it. I love how that there's no humans down here. But that's what I need. To power the ship. I know it. That's what I need. I found what I actually needed for the mission. Finally, after how many hours? <laughs> <laughs> I finally figured out what I need to get and have and do and, and, and all that stuff, but I can't because it hurts me. I'm glad my health is regening, even if it's really slow. Did I open this? Yeah, I already opened that. Uh, where's the stairs? Where this is? Where's the stairs? Where's the stairs? Stairs? Where's the stairs? That's not the stairs. Uh, I need the stairs. I'll just go around the long way. Because if it enters a cutscene, I'm going to wait on that. Okay, there's the stairs, but I didn't check out this room. That's all I gotta say is just, wow. Okay, there's stairs and a ladder. Let's... 
Wait, have I? Another vending machine. Okay, that's... So I hadn't quite made it a full circle yet. Obviously, because I don't remember this part. Alright, let's just climb the ladder. We'll take the stairs down. office. Okay. That must have been uh, useful to pick up. Ooh. Close that. While I hack something. I can't even take. But at least I got 30 XP out of it. Uh, continue. From the office of Reed Tubson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old dust mill into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we are expected to face up to reality. The reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. Wow. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of in innocent plague, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your families is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit, physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. <sighs> wow, man. I come to this... this Oh my gosh, like, I'm just not liking this place at all. How can anyone live like this? You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Hi, Phyllis Granger. I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Gravesite fees. I'm here to collect. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my great sight. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's nice of her. It's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my I didn't know that was sarcasm. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative. Which meant me. So the fees just keep adding up. Eugene was a good worker. You said this guy shot himself. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. That's not a lie. Between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Good to know. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. You're the closest thing to family. There you go! I thought you said you were his closest living relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see. So I pay the fine. Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Oh my gosh. What are they gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. It was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all, and was Adams to be commended to the law. All I know is Silas oh asked gosh. me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. But you constantly have to pay fees. How would you get back to work? Goodness sakes, lady.
Why would you put your lamp like that? And why would you put it in a corner that there's nothing to do over there? That's so weird. Ooh. What? I'm just looking. I'm not taking anything. Calm down. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Where'd she go? That's not her. Some sort of freelancer. She's still here. Can I talk to her about it? Somebody's been spinning a tale about a lost colony ship. Talk like that'll get you reported real quick. Talk to, to you about a gene. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. You're planning on stealing Eugene's gold teeth? Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. I'm not a part of it. I don't have to explain myself to you. Wow. Okay. I probably should have saved that conversation before. Oh well, I'll save now. <laughs> Goodness sakes. These people really need new lives. Oh my gosh. They killed all the sprats. Why? Alright, here's the stairs. Now it's time to go in here. Oh, snap. Is it really right there? Yep, okay, that's really, really, really gotta, really, really gotta go here. Okay. Hey, it's my profession, it's an elevator. <laughs> the grease monkey elevator Argo. music. I'm sorry, it's tough to say. You asked why it's taken so long to fix, because the answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltina, which isn't what we've got. You know, Mr. Thompson? You know, someone here to see you. Yeah, sorry to barge in. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's, uh... Mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in pants. We have food, we have pants. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Saltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Okay, before I talk to her, I'm gonna snoop around your little place Seems here. Seems we've got a guess. Never mind. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I can wait till you're finished. You were saying, Miss Hoka. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. Oh my I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, I've had my knife out for every conversation. I don't know how to put it away. I don't even know if that's a thing. We can start with introductions. I'm Zines. I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I'm not from here. I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship. Needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. The only regulator we've got is the hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Todson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. 
I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying myself? Oh, yeah. Saw someone put his hands on the regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. I know, I tried grabbing it three times. The power regulator in but the I didn't the die. <laughs> mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Why would I do that? What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical lab. They're deserted. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. This isn't a home! It's like, Taco cut you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. Uh, I wonder why. Quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. Good. I need those workers back at their stations. <laughs> I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame those workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. Mm -hmm. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. I get the feeling I'm going to join them. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kind. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. These workers must have left town for a reason. That reason was me. I asked too much and push too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Then why have you done it before? Can't make any promises. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. Sign of good faith. For so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the veil? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. So. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holman, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Sure, I can use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. I get a companion! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Oh, an ad again? <laughs> Let's get going. Companions! CNP New Manager Seminar. You gain a companion. They are, they are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Parents provide combat support. Your skills enhance your skills. Their skills enhance your skills. Their skills enhance your skills. <laughs> Increase your carrying capacity. Yes! You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about companions in the companion ledger. Report me. He's standing right there. I'm not doing anything bad. My offer remains standing, should you reconsider. Huh. I'll talk to you about something. Go ahead. Have you taken a look around your town lately? 
It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. Your town is falling to pieces. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. I'm telling you the truth. Doesn't make it any less true. I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. Apparently not. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. Be miserable. And pay for everything. How long have you worked here? I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. You're loyal to Spacer's Choice. This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. And keeps you in debt. has got nothing to do with it. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Until you're sick. Let me ask you something else. Go ahead. What makes you think I can convince these deserters to come back? If you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling cane. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. It's not gonna happen. It's not the place to live. Of course people are gonna walk away. Nature is ugly. There is safety here. Safety and purpose. But not all of us see that. And I cannot force that vision upon them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to play. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. <laughs> Till more people leave. You and Adeline have a personal history? Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. Flavor specialist? <laughs> the heck? renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. I should go. Alright. Apparently you don't need to, he's right there. Alright, where's my companion? I guess she's just with me, I just can't see her. I guess it's that. Oh! Hi! <laughs> we better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Before we talk? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Before we talk? Hey, ma'am. Can we talk? Sorry. Where are you? You're still in here? Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Figures, Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. There's that word of four again. <laughs> I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll 
be at the mercy of marauders or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Sure. I met the vicar. He asked to me to find a book for him. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. What do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Him. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he's found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. Suppose it hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say, anyways. Hmm. All right. Let's go to see the vicar. Where was the place at? Look at all them icons. So the church is over here. Let's go see him real quick. And then I think I'll call this. No, I don't want to do that. Where's the church? There's the church. I've always felt weird in here. Any progress on that matter we discussed? No, but I got something else. Oh, welcome. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here is Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. Uh, what? Please get it. Um, just wanted to ask you. What would you like to discuss? I've already wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? <laughs> Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. <laughs> I can't imagine what would be so brave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off the power to a dental lady's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has. I like him. He's not brainwashed like the others. What do you think of Adelian's group, Vicar? They rejected the order of society and lived beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Ah, he's turning the question on me. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Right, just talk everybody into coming together. I'll keep that in mind. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. Bye. Whoa! Oh! Is what just happened? Are you happy, Pavarti? Are you pleased with his response? Where are we headed? You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but the vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. 
The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf under glass. Then why'd you want to talk to him? The Vicar's about the only soul in the Vale who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Hmm. Let's get back to it then. Skill points available. So I needed to do it in the persuade, I guess. And let's go medical. And better ranged. Cool. Command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you are targeting. Huh. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically de deliberated. Okay. I don't get a perk? I guess the perk is every two levels. Okay. That kind of makes sense, actually. Let's see. Where should I put my, my, my person here? Um. Yeah. Gonna have to go talk to the cemetery guy. So, I'm gonna end it right here. Let me just save it one more time. To make sure it is golden and good and great and everything but i just want to say thank you sparky and todd for coming to the stream i hope you enjoyed it and anyone else and thank you um bead real player <laughs> for having that follow on me and i had a lot of fun with this to be honest i didn't even notice it had been four and a half hours <laughs> i'm just having too much fun with this game it's really fun um Without further ado, happy viewing another channel on the content. Bye, everyone!